one is James the Wine Guy. It's been a long time since I reviewed a wine from Zutiro Alta Alige. That's what we have before us. Stay tuned for this review. So what I love about Pinot Bianco, Pinot Blanc, is it's elegant, beautiful, uh, just a remarkable wine giving some really highly nuanced characteristics, but in my opinion, what I term as a sophisticated wine variety. And of course, its relationship to Pinot Noir, Pinot Grigio, and Pinot Blanc are, you know, definitely within the framework of being three different grape varieties. Uh, one descending obviously from the Pinot Noir grape to Pinot Grigio, Pinot Gris, and then going to Pinot Bianco, Pinot Blanc. So Pinot Noir is really highly influenced. That is the environment. It actually changes. It is really not very, uh, shall we say, stable. And it's really going to descend into other grapes. It actually uh, intermingles, commingles, and becomes part of other grapes. It actually has, uh, so for example, the Pinot uh, Grigio or the Pinot uh, Bianco, or Pinot Blanc, is that actually has a color regulation that's different. So that is a VVYMBA1 and VVYMBA2 are those uh, signatures in terms of the, um, the genetic profile. So these uh, tend to turn switch off and therefore you have a different coloration. So therefore you might say in the Pinot Grigio, in this wine right here, is a coloration is half off and then you go to the Pinot uh, Bianco, the Pinot Blanc, and it's completely off. Uh, but it's not just that it's Pinot Noir. It, it, and descends from that, is that it has a different flavor characteristic. It's not the same. Even when you have Pinot Noir that is actually vinified white, it's a different flavor characteristic than the Pinot Noir vinted with some skin contact. So long story short, it's a beautiful wine. So let me introduce this wine right now, Peter Zemmer and Pinot Grigio, Alto Adige Zutero. I'll always say both names together because that's how it's referred to on every label. So Alto Adige, the Italian, and the Zutero is the German uh, region name, uh, same name for this region. On the back panel, 2014 vintage DOC wine and 13.5% uh, ABV. Um, I think for me, this is a fantastic producer and uh, something to not be missed. And if you don't have any Zutero Alto Adige wines, ask your wine merchant, ask your favorite wine uh, or your favorite restaurant, the wine director, uh, maybe it's a bartender, maybe it's someone that really has that uh, affinity to uh, look at what the customers are seeking, what you're seeking. Ask them to bring in a bottle of these particular wines. Definitely try the Legrain. Try the, uh, there's Pinot Noir that's fantastic in this region. The Pinot Bianco, which I just had, and I'll post that video right here. Uh, there's so many different wines to try from this region, both familiar, most of it familiar, international varieties. Uh, but for me, I think the uh, uh, the signature red grape, in addition to the Pinot Noir, is the Legrain. Is, uh, you know, you're gonna find it around the world, but probably 90% of it, 95% in fact, is in this region. So Alto Adige Zutero is the mothership for this particular wine grape variety. It's highly nuanced, beautiful, and it just really seems to me in terms of being that specific flavor characteristic, the weight, texture, and so forth, that can only come from this particular region for Le Grain. So first, the uh, scent characterization, flavor profile, and the point score. So on this, I'm getting uh, absolutely uh, gorgeous, lustrous notes of yellow, green, citrus, zest, and peel kumquat, passion fruit, and wet songs. Next is the flavor characterization, then the point score. Very highly nuanced wine, but sometimes that's what you're seeking. It may be what you're pairing with food or enjoying on its own. But for me, a fantastic wine. Notes include Meyer lemon, tea, seashells. Now, seashells referring back to that minerality, right? Sunflower, as well as a hint of pine nut. I give this wine a 9.2 out of my 10.0 scale. And uh, do yourself a favor, serve this in a burgundy glass because I think it's really highly optimized in that uh, characterization to enjoy and uh, pick up every uh, particular note and characteristic of this wine. So do me a favor, give a like to this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Now, uh, I'll put more information down below as well. List your questions and comments there as well. Now, you can do so on a variety of social medias that I'm on, and you're on as well, probably, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you again for watching me today. Stay tuned for more. Salud and salute.